right, this is the first time that I've ever been delivered to a tree stand on a golf cart or any sort of mechanized device for that matter, I guess. All right, we just dropped off some corn. And these deer are absolutely used to having corn put out because we'll put out corn and we'll get daylight picks of them. Great, great place. Bedding right there. So we just put the corn off, out. I'm gonna grab my bow and hunt out over this back side of this fence in this thick area. We've got a wind blowing back that way. So figure movement coming this way, the wind will be coming this way. And that should be perfect, really, I, I believe. Can't wait to hang out. All right, I got absolutely everything in this bag here. I like that little clasp. A saddle and my steps, everything to film, by nose, range finder, everything I need. Our corn's over in there, and we getting pictures non-stop. I just need to shut up and get up the tree. Alright, it's two o'clock. And I love the spot that I find myself in. This back here is a big, big bedding area. We've got so many pictures of bugs coming out of this area back in here. All right, so this is bedding, but there has been a lot of buck movement off this camera going back into this thick area and coming this way. So instead of sitting on this fence line, or I'll bet you they're coming, I'm gonna go down here and move a little closer to this thick stuff right on the edge of this bedding climb up that tree right there and I should be able to shoot into that opening or at least see it so that's what we're after you know we're kind of playing it safe right now it's early early so we're playing it safe on the edge we're not crossing into any of the thick stuff we're not crossing any movements we're hunting on the back side down one side of things and see what happens. So we're gonna move over there. I could easily kill a deer from that spot. Nothing else, it's an observation. Observation sit, looking looking in this area back here where these deer are coming out of this bedding and going up into this other bedding area and in and out of this big woods. So it's a fantastic spot. I'm gonna sit on the back side of it and see what happens. All right, that tree I was gonna climb out this hickory so I can't get up that one I don't want to go too far back in here to be honest but the trail is real nice and close so I don't have to worry about working my way out or getting lost or anything so I'm gonna find that looks like a maple right there it's like a pretty nice pretty nice tree to climb in a great spot and then it says, that's a maple right there. Oh yeah, we're going up that one. Now it's right next to our, where we wanted to climb. A little bit smaller, not a problem. It was in a tree stand. You'd stick out like a sore thumb. But we're on a saddle. So, using our ring of steps, we'll be able to look just like the tree is forked. If they happen to look up similar to that except it's not a tree it's a human whack that's the great thing of a saddle all right here's our tree good sized maple here's our spot we picked it's that bedding area we talked about in here they're all thick in there there's a big down tree here and the canopy's real open shoot way in there. Now they're gonna have to come over around this tree. But that's the thing. It's it's a pinch and this area is gonna constrict this movement. It could be less. They're just gonna go around it. It's just a natural thing to hear do. And we'll be able to shoot. That's about a that's about a it's less than 25 yards. I think our shot will be up to we can shoot close to 40. If we're lucky, that's amazing in the woods. So we found a great spot. And we'll see what happens. 
but I'm gonna reclimb this tree. And I look and there's a few branches up there I'm gonna have to clip off. I'm gonna be on this back side. That's gonna put me on the gravity side. So it's not gonna be the most comfortable, but it'll work. But climbing, I'm gonna to wanna to go around this side of the tree to make it easy. I won't be able to look that way while I'm climbing, but it'll make it a lot easier climb. I can't climb on the gravity side, and it'll work just fine, though it takes a lot more effort. If you really, really want to see that way, you can do it. It's just going to be harder to climb, and I think I may actually go ahead and do it. All right, it's 212. I've got two steps on. the climb. Well, we gotta get out our pruners. Got some branches up there. We could shoot from the side. Questions why wouldn't we? I'm gonna go ahead and get set up. Six steps off the ground. Ten feet. Somewhere around there. No more. Alright, here's what's going on. The gravity is is over right here. The gravity is back here. Where I am is on the side of the gravity. And the force, that's the force right there. My foot's directly in the middle. Straight up and down. steps is you're not stuck standing and looking at just one position like you are in a little tiny tree stand you can move all the way around the tree anywhere you need to if you want to get the tree in between you and the deer it's super handy and not only that but you look like a big branch coming off the tree you would look more like that a little tiny I gotta get my printers and get 
these branches out before I climb up into here. Or I can go ahead and just do it when I get up in there. That sounds like a better idea. You absolutely have got to put some sort of silencer on your carabiner where it goes to your rope band. That's uh, subtle. these branches before you get into your set because they will jack you up when you go to stand up in there so just cut them out while you're standing here while you put on your platform go ahead print those branches too very first move when you get set up get your bow hook out and pull up your bow coincidentally the GoPro goes on that strap so you have it handy right in the same spot with that strap put that strap on put that camera up next maneuver we get our bow on it. Knock an arrow, set up our quiver, we're ready to go. Alright, next, got my bow set up, got my bow hung up, my quiver up. Thank God I had these sticks. I didn't have my carabiner on there, so I have to get that. Got an arrow knocked, got my release on. At this point, I still don't have my alignments built off. And this helps me to set up everything with my lineman's belt while I'm standing there. And, and now I can shoot. But I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna move on to the camera gear. Get my camera arm set up. With my still one having my lineman's belt on. And set it down here. Where I can go through it and around it. Where my bridge is. Alright, I should have probably told you to bring your tether up here, tighten it all the way to your bridge. That way if you do fall, this is going to catch you not too far, because your alignment's built, you're just going to skid all the way down the tree. Actually, you're going to stop right there on the ring of steps. So, but I don't know how glorious of a landing that would be, I would want to try it. So please follow proper precautions. Alright, I put my arm under, under my tether and my bridge, they're both right there together. Put my arm under it, put the camera on. Now all I gotta do is lift up my tether. And it usually goes right here about below my chin. So somewhere around here should be good. So we should be set up, ready to go. Get my gloves on. And we're hunting, brother.
we're in an amazing spot. This is the movement that we're actually here hunting. That one right there. The thing I love the most about the saddle on me is you can get on the back side of the tree. You can kind of hide out from the deer. And with the ring of steps, you can always do that. the saddle with a platform set up like this. This shot right here is going to be a weak side shot. We're going to have to do something crazy to make that happen. With the ring of steps, all I'm going to do is shift two steps around right here. And now that's a strong side shot. Big difference in the ring of steps and the platform. 